Welcome back, everyone. This is Geeks Are Sexy on the fourth Thursday of the month, talking about how to be successful in Las Vegas, how to be a leader here in Las Vegas and beyond. We're back with Pebbles Franco from Top Tier Realty, our third guest for the day. Pebbles has been involved in real estate in every aspect of the real estate business, from sales to investing to property management. I don't think there's part of the business you haven't done. <laughs> Very passionate about helping families build their fi their financial portfolio. She assists buyers in building equity and sellers in utilizing their equity to obtain their financial goals. She's lived all over and worked real estate markets on the East Coast, the Midwest, and the Southwest. So you know she knows what she's talking about. She understands the market in a way that someone who's just worked locally doesn't necessarily understand the business. So we're all going to learn from her today. Welcome, Pebbles. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So you got started in real estate really, really young. I did. Tell us the story of how you got started and how did that set you on the path you're on now? Well, I got started because my mother was a, uh, was a real estate broker. My dad was a real estate agent mm -hmm. in Cal Northern California. And my first job was answering my mother's phone mm -hmm. <laughs> in our home office. <laughs> I had to do a lot of faxing. Um, I did my first open house by myself when I was 12 years old. 12 years old, right. <laughs> it was quite an experience. Got to meet the public and kind of learn more about mm -hmm. what buyers are expecting from a home and how to present the property. Okay, cool. Now, when I said you've done it all, you really have. You've been an investor. You've been a property manager. Not just like you've owned a property management company. You've been someone out there at the properties doing the property management. What has that taught you about the business and how does that help you help the buyers and sellers you work with to achieve those financial goals? Well, it's funny because a lot of buyers don't know what they're looking for. They have an idea, but they don't know at the end of the day what they really are looking for. Mm -hmm. So what my goal is, is to sit down with my clients, whether they're buyers or sellers, and find out what their real goal is. What is, okay. is it they're trying to obtain? And okay. then creatively find ways to get them what it is they need. What are, and this is off, this is off the script, but what are some of the questions you ask a buyer and a seller? I want, because I want to, I want people before they contact you to be thinking about these things. Well, one of the first questions I ask is, I get the idea of what their goal is. Okay. So what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. What, uh, do you have any pets? What are you trying to okay. be? near who are you trying to be near mm -hmm. what's the reason for you moving in the first place so a lot of people will say oh I've heard of Summerlin it's a great area mm -hmm. I want to live there or Henderson it's a great area I want to live there but they work in the Northwest <laughs> right crazy right <laughs> they don't like traffic <laughs> and they have no idea how bad the 15 can get right 24 hours a day so I'm trying to find key things about their mm -hmm. life their specific uh, routines, whether they like to go to a specific gym, mm -hmm. whether they need to be near parks, whether they have pets that want to go to the dog park on every Saturday, that kind of thing. Those are the things that I'm looking for. These are these are such important questions and I, I, I'm still in the first home I bought. I'm actually in it again after leaving with the Air Force and coming back. <laughs> and it's perfect for me and my pet, but um, I wish it worked out really well for me, but I wish someone had asked me these kinds of questions when I was first looking to buy a home in 2002. Usually so. the, the agents are, will ask you, what is it you're looking for? What's your price range? Okay, here's a bunch of properties. But at the end of the day, you're not just looking for a property. You're looking for a home that works Absolutely. around your lifestyle. Absolutely. So getting to know that buyer, getting to know the sellers as well, because some sellers are, are under the impression my home is worth a million dollars or whatnot. But of course, everybody would like a million dollars for their home. Well, it seems like it is because there's... <laughs> Unless your home's worth more than a million dollars, then paper, call me. Saw on um, the paper today, there's 7,000 homes in the market in the Las Vegas Valley are. as of yesterday, right? Right now. And the thing is, a lot of buyers don't know that they can qualify for them. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest issues I see is buyers not knowing that they can qualify for a home. Okay. And how do you help them with that? How do you help them find the ways that they can qualify for a home? Well, I actually do home buyer workshops every month. Okay. So that way people can get to know what programs are out there, mm -hmm. what they need to do to get on the right track to be able to purchase a home. Mm -hmm. Most people don't even know if you qualify to get a, into a rental. Mm -hmm. You most likely are already qualified to get into I, a home purchase. I want you to look right in that camera and say that one more time for everybody. If That's a really you can get into a rental right now in Las Vegas, a lot of the criteria is very similar to getting into a home right now. So please, please call us. 
let us sit down and we'll go over what it is you need in order to get you into the right home. And the reason I want you to look look right in that camera and say that is because when we, you and I sat down yesterday, we talked a lot about breaking the cycle of renting. Dear God, yes. And and we talked about we, we we talked about this idea. We created these two images, breaking the cycle of renting and starting to climb that climb that ladder yes. of family wealth. And why is it so important to break that cycle of renting? Well it's one, it's a cycle that your children are seeing. And two, it's a cycle that your children will get stuck in. Mm -hmm. It's a never ending cycle that is passed down generationally. Because if you don't know, then your children don't know, and their children don't mm -hmm. know. So taking the time to understand what it is and how you can get into a home mm -hmm. and how that benefits you today, mm -hmm. you tomorrow, you next year, and your future generations mm -hmm. is so important. And nobody else will sit down and talk to these people and explain that to them and that's if really, you're not in that environment. And that's really important because if you don't have the knowledge and the experience to pass mm -hmm. on to your kids about your own, wh whether, whether you owned a home for a while and are renting again because it makes sense for you, mm -hmm. but to have that, to be able to pass that knowledge and experience on is what your kids are really going to need yeah. to make their own choice that's right for them when they're in their 20s or 30s and they have a family, right? And set themselves up for retirement, mm -hmm. for being able to make the financial decisions that they want to, and giving them options. That's my biggest thing. I like to give my clients options. So, so the first thing that people can do to break this cycle, if you're renting, chances are you qualify for a home loan if you're renting, so I want to make sure we say that a couple of times, but uh, they can come to your first time home buyer workshop yes. and give us the broad brush strokes. You're going to talk about, well, you're, we're going to ask you all these questions. These are the things you should think about before you even look at homes, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the other things you cover in this workshop? Well, in the workshop, we start with the process. Okay. So we t take them through the entire process of what to expect and how I carry out that process okay. with my team. That way they're already going to be familiar mm -hmm. with what steps we're going to be taking throughout the process. Because I know okay. that buying a home can be scary as a first time mm -hmm. home buyer. It's a big expense. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to be a scary one. Okay, cool. What are some of the questions you get in the home buyer workshop? Well, I get a lot of specific questions like, oh, well, what if my AC doesn't work after I buy the house? Or how am I supposed to be able to afford repairs? or things like, well, I had a credit problem a few years ago. How's that going to affect mm -hmm. me now? And a lot of the answers that are would be pertaining to buyers mm -hmm. trying to get into a rental, those same answers generally would apply for when you're buying a home. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are certain situations that will come up that are exceptions to the rule. There's sure. always exceptions. Everybody's a unique person with their own unique experiences. So I can't say that just because your coworker has the same job as has the same work experience mm -hmm. as you, that they're going to qualify for the exact same amount you right. do. It is not a cookie cutter system. Mm -hmm. But it is a very, very similar system. Yeah, it seems like the, the playing field is relatively even if you know what you're doing and if you ask good questions when you start. Uh, again, those were questions I never bothered to ask before I bought a home. I was just like, I want to buy a house. They're like, you're in the Air Force. You, here's a VA loan, right? So, <laughs> Which are great because if they, you they get are. a VA loan, th those are amazing. They are. So if, you're, if you have questions like that, if that's what's keeping you from looking into buying a home, how would I pay for repairs? What happens if my AC goes out? Or, or who takes care of it? Am I stuck taking care of it if I own the home? Come to Pebbles class. When are your, you, you have two classes scheduled coming up, right? Um, I have one for July 30th. It'll okay. be at Total Wine at Boca Park. And okay. then I have another one scheduled for August 7th at the same location at Total Wine at Boca Park. Okay, great. So, class is coming up. Lots yes. of questions. You have a process that can help people. If people are looking for help or they're looking to buy a home and they don't, even if they don't need help, tell, uh, tell the viewers how they can reach you. Well, they can always reach me at my email at pebbles at unique-home-solutions.com or by phone at 702-845-4796. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. You make me excited to go buy another house. So, <laughs> so I'm You not, can. You get VA I'm, loans. I'm, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I can. But thank you for being here today. Um, stay right there.
right. we're going to bring Casey and Teresa back. Oh, we're going to we're going to have our panel discussion, and these fine ladies who've been through a lot in their business careers are going to talk about how they stick with their goals when things get really tough. So stay right here. We'll be right back.